everybody welcome to in for the win i'm sin this is a quick tutorial on just how to get mods for dwarf fortress so when you're on the dwarf fortress steam page you'll notice a button here called the workshop that's where uh users are able to upload content that they've created uh, amongst pictures as other things but largely we want the uh items for modding the game so usually i look at most subscribed most popular is another way to look at things too but generally it's as easy as taking a pick up what you want and and subscribing to it so for example i definitely want see-through smoothing designations which hopefully will become a standard part of the game in the future i want interface tweaks as well which is adding a little bit of you know visual help uh i don't want the audible alerts anymore i did used to use that but i'm i'm pretty well pretty good at looking at alerts now and stuff and keeping track of stuff but i do like to reduce z level fog it just changes how things look especially on the overworld so i've clicked those three they are now subscribed if you go into your subscribed items you can view what items you are now subscribed to and now when you go to launch you'll be able to see mods in the menu. I will also have a little pop-up here, which you may or may not. This is for DF Hack, which is a different video I will be touching on. But essentially, once your game has the mods installed, it's a matter of applying them to an existing world. So you can see the mods are in here already. So when you're doing a world generation and you're going over your settings, you are able to select mods and add the mods to the world. That being said, that those mods will be required to run the world. Keep that in mind. If you want to change your mind in the future, you may not be able to get rid of it. Now, when we talk about get, getting rid of mods, it's a little bit more complex. In a lot of games, you're able to go in here and delete mods themselves. But in Dwarf Fortress and on lots of Steam games, you actually have to go to the workshop where we just were and view your subscribed items and unsubscribe from them. Now... The tricky part about Dwarf Fortress is when you do that, you would think, oh, okay, I've unsubscribed, I don't want those mods anymore, they should be gone. That isn't the case, though. Those mods are going to still be in the list, as you'll see once my game loads up. They're still there. So what you actually have to do is you have to navigate to the Dwarf Fortress root folder. I'm on Windows, I don't play on Mac or Linux, so I can't help you there. But under your program files, you should find Steam folder. And then under Steam apps under common, you'll find a list of games and their data. So we want Dwarf Fortress. Now off the bat, you see the mods folder, which you're absolutely correct. But just deleting these mods isn't actually going to do what we want it to do. If you delete these three mods and boot up the game, they're basically going to re-add themselves to the folder. What you really want to be looking for is under data and installed mods, which is... I don't have them installed correct because I haven't actually loaded up a world. So what you need to do is load up a world and then the mods will be in this list. So I've deleted them from there. And I've deleted them from there. So now when we boot up our Dwarf Fortress, we get our DF hack heads up. But we're not worried about that right now. And now once our game loads, you'll notice that the mods are gone. So the main thing to remember, though, about removing mods is worlds are reliant on the mods that you installed them with. So if you're starting another world and you're tired of looking at a messy mod list and say, I want to get rid of all these, you may affect a previous world. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, that was a quick rundown on mods and how to get them in and out of your Dwarf Fortress. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day.